Next up on copycat.com, we have frosted pineapple cookies. Hi, I'm Stephanie Manley with Copycat Recipes. Today I'm going to show you how you can make frosted pineapple cookies. It's getting close to the holidays and I am trying a new cookie recipe this year. That's a surprise. Um, I normally love the seven layer bar cookies for the holidays. In fact, I don't think it's Christmas without um, those seven layer bar cookies. So maybe I'll shoot a video of those as well. But this year I'm trying something new and these are pineapple frosted cookies. I've gotten my inspiration from Jolene Sugarbaker. If you haven't seen her, she's a trailer park queen on YouTube and she has a fabulous, very creative cookies. So I thought I would go outside of the box here and put a little fruit in my cookies, something I never, never do. So since they're pineapple cookies, we are using uh, about an eight ounce can of pineapple and we've reserved three tablespoons of the juice. Now we have the usual suspects in cookies. I have butter. I'm going to use about a cup of butter. I'm going to use brown sugar, flour, flour, an egg. Then I'm going to use vanilla, a little bit of salt, baking soda, and baking powder. We're going to use both of those. So why don't I show you how to whip up these cookies and spread a little holiday cheer. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to cream together one cup of butter and our brown sugar. Now please go to my website. The link is listed below in the uh, information section. I believe it's one cup of sugar, but I don't want you to cook off the video because I could be wrong occasionally. So we are going to cream together the butter and the sugar. Now, how do you know when something's been creamed? Well, it looks kind of nice and uniform, and it looks kind of fluffy. All right, so we've established what cream butter and sugar looks like. So now we're gonna add our egg. I'm gonna drizzle in some vanilla. I never really measure vanilla. Um, I'm gonna put about a good teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of vanilla in here. I've been cooking for a while and you know, I've never OD'd on vanilla yet. Okay, so here comes our eight ounce can of pineapple. Now we've reserved some of the juice. Now leave the rest of the juice in the can. I've taken out about three tablespoons and I put that aside for the frosting. So be sure not to just dump the whole can in, in there without reserving some for the frosting. All right, so we have a few more things we need to put in this cookie batter, and that would be our salt, our baking soda, and our baking powder. Now, whenever you're doing a little bit of baking, it's always a great idea to add a little bit of salt. It helps pick up the rest of the flavors. In goes our flour. We're gonna turn our mixer on low to help with that lovely fume of flour that often comes up. And there's a guest appearance by Lucky, my dog. My dogs love to hang out for video shoots. I'm not the neatest cook, so I'm thinking they're feeling like something's gonna end up on the floor. Now, spray your pan with a little bit of nonstick spray. I didn't do that here. My cookies didn't stick, but in subsequent batches, I just suggest that you go ahead and spray a little nonstick spray. So I use a cookie scoop because I want to make sure all my cookies are uniform and I find this a really great tool in cookie baking. So here my cookies are done and I'm going to let them cool off while I go ahead and work on the frosting. You know what? These cookies are great just like this. They smell wonderfully incredible. I've never cooked a pineapple cookie before, but I was having a cookie exchange with other food bloggers, so I wanted to make sure I did something a little bit different. Now it's time for the frosting. I'm going to add just about a teaspoon of lemon juice in here. This will pick up the flavors just a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and zest a little bit of my lemon. I just want a little extra flavor in here. I just happen to have Meyer lemons in my yard this year, so I'm taking every opportunity I can to use those. 
Now comes the rest of the pineapple juice. I'm going to start out with about a teaspoon, then a tablespoon, and just kind of stir this together. I promise this type of icing will come together. Be patient with it. I want it to where it'll drizzle nicely, so I'm going to have to add a little bit more juice to this. So I'm going to add a little bit more of that reserved pineapple juice and get it to the great drizzling consistency. Then I'm just going to drizzle the icing on. That's it. Now, I love this icing because it actually does get a little bit stiff, so it doesn't stay soft. So these cookies um, can travel well if you need to bake up some cookies, give someone a little care package. And there you go. Those are my frosted pineapple cookies. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.